Good afternoon. Welcome to the fall 2022 undergraduate commencement ceremony for the College of Health Sciences and the University College at Westchester University. My name is Dr. Scott Heinrichs, and I serve as the Dean for the College of Health Sciences. I am joined for this special occasion by Dr. John Craig, Dean of University College. On behalf of everyone you see on the platform, Dean Craig and I wish to welcome you to this very important and celebratory event. To begin our ceremony, please stand as Sophia Barbara Shiva, class of 2022, graduating from the Wells School of Music, leads us in the singing of the Star Spangled Banner. Graduates, as we celebrate with you today, we would like to recognize our entire community of educators. That is our platform party and our faculty, staff, and administrators, whether current or retired, everyone who has helped shape the success of our graduates. These individuals have all played an important role in your journey here at Westchester University. And as you take this next step, in your life and face new challenges, we promise you will think about those individuals who pushed and inspired you. In and outside the classroom, you will remember this community that helped you grow and think and see different points of view. Will all members of our community of educators please stand and be recognized? You deserve a big round of applause for your excellent work. Thank you. Please be seated. A tradition at the December commencement ceremony is the presentation of awards to faculty members who have demonstrated excellence in their endeavors. Today, we honor a faculty member for academic advising. Each year, Westchester University's Committee for Advising Excellence selects a faculty member who has done an exemplary job of advising students. This year, the committee has selected Dr. Cristobal Cardamil Kraus of the Department of Interdisciplinary Studies with the Outstanding Advisor Award. Congratulations, Dr. Cardamel Krauss, and thank you for all you do to support our students. 
It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce the Provost and Senior Vice President of Westchester University, Dr. Jeffrey Osgood. Good afternoon. Welcome, honored guests, families, friends, alumni, faculty, staff, and most especially, members of the Westchester University Class of 2022. Congratulations. I know you are all hoping that my speech will be short because these days it's hard to pay attention to anything that's long. But that struggle to pay attention is actually what I'm here to talk to you briefly about today. When I think about the struggle to sustain attention in my own life, I think back to fifth grade. I was raised in a military family that constantly moved from one location to another. And that meant constantly moving me from one school to another. With all that movement, we didn't move what did not move much were my reading skills. I was a very poor reader. In fifth grade, I found myself in Barkley Elementary School at Fort Campbell, Kentucky, in a classroom broken into three reading groups. An above average reading group, that group got to read A Wrinkle in Time. I was not in that group. There was an average reading group, I, I don't think I could read it today, but whatever. Um, there was an average reading group, no, I was not in that group either. I was in the third group, the less than average reading group, and it wasn't a group at all, it was just me. My teacher for that class was named Mrs. Potts, and yes, she was really named Mrs. Potts, but instead of being someone from Disney's Beauty and the Beast, just imagine that Mrs. Potts was more rural in Kentucky. Mrs. Potts was very observant. She realized I didn't have a reading problem. I had an attention problem. I could read just fine. I just couldn't stay focused on my reading for any length of time. To work on my attention issues, Mrs. Potts introduced me to those choose-your-own-adventure stories. She told me that I had to really focus my attention on the story because on the next page, I would be asked to make a decision. And if I made the wrong decision, the story would end. But if I made the right decision, the adventure would continue. I remember that in one of those adventure stories, I was in the Wild West, and I had to choose whether to spend $20 feeding my horses or going to buy drinks at Jake's. It wasn't Jake's, but you know where Jake's is. I do too. I'll see you there later. So granted, the right choice on that one is pretty easy. I thought it was Jake's, but you really did need to feed your horses. I can see that some of our graduates are really struggling with that decision today. Mrs. Potts constantly reminded me to pay attention. She trained me to pay attention. And over time, I went from being a very bad reader to a very good reader. In fact, at the end of the school year, I actually re did read A Wrinkle in Time, and it was the first real book I ever read. You all have had people like Mrs. Potts in your life, people telling you that you need to pay attention. Maybe it was the teacher trying to help you master a complex math problem, or the coach trying to help you hit that ball, or a parent just trying to talk to you while your attention was elsewhere on your cell phone. I know you parents have experienced that. In all of these cases, you had important people at important moments emphasizing the need to pay attention. And that makes sense because we only accomplish important things through sustained attention. No great discovery, no great deed, no great relationship, no great work of art has ever happened without sustained attention. Nothing amazing happens without sustained attention. And that includes the amazing accomplishment we celebrate today, the amazing accomplishment of our graduates completing their college degree. Those aren't just words. It really is an amazing accomplishment. When you spend lots of time on a college campus, it becomes easy to assume that everyone applies to college, goes to college, and graduates from college. Everyone does, don't they? They actually don't. Today, only about 38% of adult Americans have a bachelor's degree. So graduates today, you join a select group. You have accomplished something that most Americans will never accomplish. And you did it by paying attention. Westchester University has been like those people in your life, or like Ms. Potts in my life, who have challenged us to pay attention. Over the past four, or five, or maybe six years, and to my mother's chagrin, it took me seven years, 1998 to 2005. God bless her, she didn't have to pay for it though. You had to pay attention while completing that long reading, and it was probably a reading without any fun adventure decisions like mine, though we could talk about your decisions to go to Barnaby's. So you had to pay attention while listening to the long lecture, while taking that long exam, while writing that long paper. In all these moments, if you didn't pay attention, if you couldn't pay attention, if you failed to pay attention, you wouldn't be joining us today. So while Westchester University has constantly challenged you to pay attention to the important things of life, 
The, real, the world around us is always trying to divert our attention to unimportant things, to outlandish things, to outrageous things, to misleading things, to meaningless things, to anything and everything that will momentarily attract our attention. You are living in and will continue to live in a world of constant diversions and distractions and de detours. The good news for you is that Westchester has built up your attention abilities and prepared you for a world that has broken down those abilities for so many. Just how bad is it? It's pretty bad, actually. Recently, scientists from Interscope Research fitted a large pool of adult Americans with camera glasses, and they had them wear those glasses for 300 hours so they could track every time a person switched their attention from one thing to another. On average, how many times in an hour did adults shift their attention? 10 times? 15 times? The study actually found that on average, subjects shifted their attention 27 times per hour. Just think about that. That means people were focusing their attention on nothing more than two minutes at a time, so you've already looked at your TikTok three times by the time this speech is over. That paints a picture of people who are very bad at sustaining attention. But that same picture reveals some very good things for those who are able to sustain their attention. Scholars who are studying the decline in our attention abilities argues that we are entering an era where there will be a great and growing divide between the attentive and the inattentive, an era in which the ability to pay attention will separate the successful from the unsuccessful, the happy from the unhappy, the fulfilled from the unfulfilled. You want to be certain you are on the right side of that divide, and that means paying attention to your ability to pay attention. So as you move forward to the next stage of your life, hold on to your ability to pay attention, an ability you have honed here at Westchester. And graduates, as you move forward, my hope for all of you is that you live your life, the life you want to live, the life you are excited to live, the life you've worked so hard to live, and along the way, try not to get too distracted. Congratulations and thank you, Class of 2022. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Osgood, for your inspirational remarks. I'm pleased to introduce the two student speakers who will present greetings on behalf of the class of 2022. Representing the College of Health Sciences is Olivia Asso Gonzalez, graduating with a major in sports medicine studies. Representing the University College is Lindsay Bolin, graduating with a major in interdisciplinary studies. Olivia will speak and then Lindsay will follow. Olivia? Welcome friends, family, and class of 2022. I would like everyone to stop and take a deep breath. Take a good look around you at your classmates and loved ones. We are here in this moment graduating. Honestly, I didn't know if I would ever make it to this day and I'm sure it feels very surreal to others as well. As a first generation college student, I never thought college would be an option for me. This insecurity was brought about by the lack of financial means for my family and me. We struggled to put food on the table, so their financial help was not an option. Like many first-generation college students, I questioned how my experience on a college campus would unfold and how I could even afford a college education. However, many people met me where my needs were and connected me with relevant resources. This support enhanced my own determination and discipline. I felt inspired by this support and the support of my personal and professional friends. Because of them, I have succeeded. Our experiences will allow us to pave the way for future first-gen students to be successful. Whether they be friends or family, we now have the opportunity to aid and advise as they apply and eventually move from home and campus to pursue their own dreams. Standing on the stage and speaking these words is an unimaginable honor. I also never thought I'd make it to this day because of how challenging the athletic training curriculum has been these last few months. It's been a grueling process of classes, then clinical, then rushing home to study for the next exam. If you're in a, clinical, if you're in a major with a clinical focus, you understand the clinical demands. And if you're in a major with laboratory and other interactive experiences, you face the challenges that come with practical application of philosophical information. We fought through the many tears and pains of the last eight or nine or 10 semesters to get here. I know a lot of us could not have done this without our support groups. The countless times I have turned to friends or family members to console me on a bad day and have them remind me that I've made it this far has helped me tremendously. I would not be here without them. 
I was told to mention it is their day as much as it is ours. We've endured a whole pandemic, history in the making, and have made it to this day. We have done school at home in our PJs and maybe even fell asleep on Zoom. We have isolate, we've been isolated in many ways, like not being able to browse the stacks in the library or not being able to dissect the cadavers in the lab. We were forced to find new ways to complete old tasks and to adapt old ways to new circumstances. Nevertheless, we are here. I hope you are all so proud of yourselves and continue to celebrate this huge achievement. One metaphor my classmates and I often use for the state of our mental health is swimming. We would often say we are drowning and just need to get to surface level. I remember in lab this past semester, I said, at this point, we're basically deep sea divers. Well, I'm proud to say, in this moment, we're at sea level. In fact, we are doggy paddling to our next destination in life. We're moving forward with the ability to swim in all kinds of waters, dive new depths, and rise to new levels. Congratulations, class of 2022. Thank you. And thank you to the students, teachers, parents, and staff who made these years memorable. My name is Lindsay Boland, and it is my honor today to deliver one of the student commencement addresses for my incredible peers. When I was a senior in high school, I was on a completely different path in life. I was a very serious dancer at the time and was looking into colleges with ballet majors. The universe had different plans, though, as at the time I was diagnosed with a neurologic condition called a functional neurologic disorder, and it changed everything. Before my diagnosis, I was searching for anything and everything that could get me dancing again, but I continued to get weaker. Enter my sister, who suggested I join her at Westchester. It wasn't too far from home, and she'd be there to help me. Hannah, thank you for that. It wasn't just Hannah that convinced me. Just like many of you, I was drawn to the beautiful campus, the incredible town, and Westchester's reputation as a well-rounded university. So it was decided I was going to Westchester. My freshman year was hard, but I had a solid support system and a wonderful roommate, Sydney. We were randomly assigned, but I couldn't have asked for anyone better. Though we came from completely different backgrounds and held different interests, there was only honesty between us. When I got to the point that I needed a cane for assistance, she held no judgment towards me. Even when I would cry because of the pain I was in, no judgment. She truly was someone who opened my eyes to see how kind and caring people could be. It wasn't just Sydney who helped me. The OSSD Center, influential professors, and classmates helped ground me. It was at this point that I decided I was going to thrive here, no matter the odds. I began working on my strength, both physically and mentally, and eventually I was able to put the cane away and be true to who I wanted to be. Hannah continued to support me throughout both of our times at Westchester, and I will never forget how hard she worked. With the support of this incredible community, I was able to continue my education. As I got physically stronger, I was able to take a few dance classes at the university, and this was a milestone for me. As my academics progressed, I found myself investigating various disciplines. WCU is exceptional in its broad academic offerings, so much so that I switched my major three times. I settled on interdisciplinary studies with a minor in supply chain management. This coincided with COVID-19 becoming widespread and the university instituting remote learning. Being a very social person, having almost all in-person cut interactions suddenly removed was very difficult for me. Like many others, eventually I fell into depression. I decided that it would be best to take a semester off to regroup myself. This was a challenging time for most students because the academic world was progressing and it changed rapidly and we had to adapt. When I came back to school the next semester, I found myself looking at the world and people from a completely different standpoint. Even when it was then that I began to understand how a solid foundation can tide you through difficult times. WCU was my solid foundation and a foundation for many of my peers. It was evident in its leadership when making difficult pandemic decisions earlier than most universities, decisions that kept us thriving when many others struggled. I strive to have the same leadership qualities as the university in good times and in bad. I know that many of my fellow students' perspectives changed along with mine. After all, health sciences is not practiced remotely. 
With this new outlook, I leaned into my interdisciplinary studies major, one of whose purposes is to create well-rounded, educated people who see the world in different ways. I plan to be an entrepreneur, and this broad education will serve me well. With this education and experiences we have gathered throughout our time at WCU, I'm confident in our ability to learn and pass on that knowledge to the next generation. I know that the base I've constructed will push me through to my future as an entrepreneur. Our time at WCU has been much different than we anticipated, but we've grown all the same. I offer congratulations to my fellow graduates in the University College and the College of Health Sciences, along with the parting words from the philosopher Heraclitus, change is the only constant in life. We have all experienced that in our time at university, and while it hasn't been easy, it will make us stronger. And after all, we will continue to learn. Thank you, Olivia and Lindsay, for your inspiring words. I would now like to introduce the Westchester Brass Ensemble, conducted by Chris Devona. Thank you, Carly. I'm happy to announce that today's ceremony is being photographed by a professional photographer who will take pictures of the graduates as they come up to the stage to receive their diploma covers. These photographs will be made available to graduates, families, and friends. We ask that you refrain from taking personal pictures except from your seats. I now call on Dean Heinrichs to present the degree candidates from the College of Health Sciences and Dean Craig to present the degree candidates from the University of College. Will all baccalaureate degree candidates from the College of Health Sciences and University College please rise? <laughs> Dr. Osgood, we are pleased to certify that the members of the class of 2022 have fulfilled all the requirements for the degrees which this university awards 
in their particular fields of study and are recommended to you by the faculty of Westchester University. Thank you. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I hereby confer upon you the baccalaureate degrees to which you are entitled. Congratulations. I now call on Dr. Scott Heinrichs, Dean of the College of Health Sciences, to present the candidates from the College of Health Sciences. Dr. Osgood, I have the honor to present these recipients of the bachelor's degrees in the College of Health Sciences. Recipients, everyone can sit down. Recipients from the College of Health Sciences, you will please stand and marshals will begin to escort the candidates forward to receive the symbolic presentation of their degrees. Diakite, magna cum laude. Julia M. Cordero, cum laude. Bendu Ebedi Gobe, magna cum laude. Juliana V. Chase, summa cum laude. Sarah Abigail Crispin, summa cum laude. Olivia Azo Gonzalez, magna cum laude. <laughs> Jessica Cabrera, summa cum laude. Taylor M. DeLone, cum laude. Olivia N. Christman, summa cum laude. Augusto Carlo I. Reyes, summa cum laude. Caitlin V. Callahan, summa cum laude. Avery R. Schaefer. Devin M. Hay, cum laude. Unaya Nairi Branch, magna cum laude. Brooke L. Evans, magna cum laude. Grace M. DeBenedict, suba cum laude. Nina N. Tindal, cum laude. Giovanna Rose Felker, summa cum laude. Hannah Maria Rosa Bossler. Luke Hollister. Kendall J. Walks. Aaron P. Mendini, summa cum laude. Michaela Bicha, summa cum laude. Rowan Gabriel Mazes, summa cum laude. Madison M. Hess. Madeline Quinn, cum laude. Samia Hall. Owen DeLuca, summa cum laude. Enviance Holland. Megan M. Lynch, summa cum laude. Blacheri Togba, summa cum laude. Christine Neko Zakrua, summa cum laude. Akeyase Diasanama, summa cum laude. Rebecca N. Kunwan, summa cum laude. Ethan Wheeling. Ashley R. Dellinger, summa cum laude. Heather Martin, summa cum laude. Marie Holden, summa cum laude. Carolyn Ansley, summa cum laude. E.J. Oma Bulia, summa cum laude. 
Sachi Gadurjan, summa cum laude. Duncan Paul May, summa cum laude. Taylor Brown, magna cum laude. Zaveria C. Sardon, summa cum laude. Mason Charles Shainer, magna cum laude. Megan Tunnell, cum laude. Karina Teresa Lorraine Barnes, magna cum laude. Maya Di Camilo, summa cum laude. Lindsay Cunningham, magna cum laude. Allison M. Walker, cum laude. TK Co, summa cum laude. Nolan P. Yanchuk, magna cum laude. Anna Gill, summa cum laude. <laughs> Meredith Ann Unangst, summa cum laude. <laughs> Caroline Louise Culva, magna cum laude. Morgan Lucia Yacovella, magna cum laude. <laughs> Kayla Renee Flynn, cum laude. Kira L. Kreps, magna cum laude. Julia Welk, magna cum laude. Abby E. Primus, cum laude. Allison M. Marshall, cum laude. Reed A. Brooks. Chelsea L. Chuck, magna cum laude. Nina T. Rodriguez Gilroy, cum laude. Lauren Garcia, summa cum laude. Allison Grace Pagliarulo, magna cum laude. Taylor Neal, magna cum laude. Gretchen A. Alderfer, summa cum laude. Regina Marie McDonald, summa cum laude. Shelby Natkin, summa cum laude. Alyssa Grace Ramirowicz, magna cum laude. Ivana Kenya Lewis, cum laude. Jessica E. Wright, summa cum laude. Amy K. Horsell, magna cum laude. Taylor E. Caputo, magna cum laude. Amelia C. Gilch, magna cum laude. Kayla M. Knopp, magna cum laude. Julia N. Rose, summa cum laude. Carter W. Smith, Summa cum laude. <laughs> Olivia Veerling, magna cum laude. Sarah F. Phillip, summa cum laude. Olivia M. Gingrich, magna cum laude. Rachel Garvey, Bachelor of Science. Chance W. Seacrest, magna cum laude. Andrew C. Paulus. Cole Stein, cum laude. Madison E. Bender, magna cum laude. Caitlin N. Lennon, magna cum laude. Soleil J. Rodriguez, magna cum laude. Kyle R. Bennett. Robin Enon, summa cum laude. Brooke E. Carroll. 
Ariana Scutellis, summa cum laude. Makita Dolores Graves, summa cum laude. Ryan D. Switkowski. Alexander Dante Marco, magna cum laude. Stephanie P. Kiefer. Elizabeth Faw, summa cum laude. Madison R. Nakilni, summa cum laude. Madeline Rose Zakarka. Jingying Wang, summa cum laude. Mallory E. Eggleston. <laughs> Jessica M. Simpkins, summa cum laude. <laughs> Keely Doherty. <laughs> Renee N. Sherwinski, cum laude. <laughs> Sarah Beaumont, cum laude. <laughs> Cheryl M. DeSandro, magna cum laude. Morgan G. Hamler, cum laude. Sage L. Malone, magna cum laude. Marco S. Augello, cum laude. Andrew J. Evans. Nicole Caballero Vallejo. <laughs> Kelly Slavinsky McLaughlin, summa cum laude. Sharon Mayorana, summa cum laude. Michelle Nolfi, summa cum laude. Zachary C. DeMarcus, cum laude. Obiyama Anyatanwu. <laughs> Samantha Wink. <laughs> Daniel Menares Brown. <laughs> Lily A. Garel, magna cum laude. <laughs> Zachary Denton, magna cum laude. Leah M. Morris, cum laude. Blake W. Shoemaker, cum laude. Deanna Joanne Elizabeth Heathner, magna cum laude. Catherine A. Robinson, cum laude. Jacqueline M. Kundradas, summa cum laude. Mora G. Kelly, magna cum laude. Colette Louise Savant, summa cum laude. Kelly Lynn Lunkwitz, summa cum laude. Yabor Salar Shalanke, summa cum laude. <laughs> Colleen Volpe, summa cum laude. Aislin Beinlich, summa cum laude. <laughs> Megan Kushner, summa cum laude. Catherine E. Brennan, summa cum laude. Gina Berger, summa cum laude. Dorothy Krupa, summa cum laude. Joshua Matthew Chilcoat, summa cum laude. Oksana Babiak, summa cum laude. 
Claire J. Nielsen, summa cum laude. Hannah J. McDonald, cum laude. Bryn E. Myers, summa cum laude. Caleb Charles Fisher, magna cum laude. Kathleen P. Hinkle. Noelle Smith, summa cum laude. Asha Ang Jones, magna cum laude. Lamira Miller. And now call on Dr. John Craig, Dean of the University College, to present the candidates from University College. Dr. Osgood, I have the honor to present these recipients of the bachelor's degrees in University College. Recipients, please stand. Marshals, please escort the candidates forward to receive the symbolic presentation of their degrees. Zaleski Emmons. Micah Gomez. Rhea N. Fink. Matthew H. Yeldo. Naima Jackson, cum laude. Jordan M. Lopez, cum laude. Terrence L. Williams, Jr. DeConte K. Jackson. Bridget S. Humphrey, cum laude. Christiana S. Charlton. Matthew M. Greeley. Morgan R. Wareham. Lindsay L. Bolin, summa cum laude. Lydia Rice, summa cum laude. Isabel P. Clark, magnum cum laude. Lady A. Montilla. Elaine Kolazarek. Patricia S. Kern. Kyra L. Jocelyn. Alice 
Madison K. Bevavino, summa cum laude. Bartholomew Joseph Hill, summa cum laude. Joseph Anthony Tobia, magnum cum laude. Beatrice A. Murray. Kaylee Hartson, magnum cum laude. Brooke E. Bartholomew, cum laude. Mackenzie Leak, summa cum laude. Jenna L. Griner. Trocon A. Huffnagel. Augustus F. Bourne. Allison M. Seal. Blake Scott. Joseph A. D'Antonio, Jr. Daniel M. Anjo. Anthony Cole. Amaya Aisha Smith. Samuel Onewu, magnum cum laude. Linnea Chanel Burden, summa cum laude. Congratulations, graduates. I would like to now introduce Sarah Crispin from the College of Health Sciences, graduating with a degree in kinesiology, and Lindsay Bolin, graduating from the University College with a degree in interdisciplinary studies, who will lead our tassel ceremony. Baccalaureate degree recipients, please stand. Modern academic dress dates from the 14th century, when certain styles of gowns and hoods started to represent certain levels of formal education scholars had attained. Over the centuries, additional details have been added to the academic dress, such as the use of specific colors to represent academic institutions and disciplines of studies. As an example, the hood that you wear today features purple and gold, the colors of Westchester University. Your academic dress may also include cords or stoles to represent honors you have earned or university initiatives in which you have participated. The tassel is a decorative component of the academic mortarboard that represents notable academic achievement. When located on the right side of the mortarboard, the tassel signifies a student that is in pro progress of completion of a prescribed curriculum for a degree. However, the movement of the tassel from the right side to the left side of the mortarboard signifies that a student has successfully met the curriculum requirements as ha and has earned an undergraduate or baccalaureate, baccalaureate <laughs> degree. Therefore, Therefore in, in symbolic, symbolic recognition of your receipt of your degree, we ask you now to transfer your tassel from the right side to the left side of your mortarboard. Congratulations.
You may be seated. Thank you, Sarah and Lindsay. It is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Bill Scottolini, graduate of the class of 1974, who will present greetings from the Westchester University Alumni Association. Thank you. I know I'm standing between you and lunch, so I'll try to make this brief. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2022, and welcome to the Westchester University Alumni Association. I've had the privilege of representing your Alumni Association at a number of commencements, but this one is special for me. Where are the nurses? 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 All right, all right. My niece, my niece and goddaughter, Michelle Nalfi, is receiving her degree today. Special congratulations to her and to her nursing colleagues. You new alumni join over 120,000 others living in 60 countries. Each of you has a unique story and have many people in your lives that have helped you reach this major milestone. Enjoy your accomplishment because you made it. The next chapters of your journey, I promise you, will not be as you've planned. Most alumni will tell you that, but your Westchester education and experiences have prepared you for success. As you look back on your experiences here, both positive and negative, and remember your favorite teachers as well as the other leaders you've admired and learned from, I want you to remember that your university cannot be the best it can be without the continued support from the people that love it. That's you, the alumni. I urge you to think of how you can give back to Westchester to ensure that future Golden Rams will have the same kinds of experiences that you've all had. How can you do this? Stay in touch at wcualumni.org. Register for our networking and social platform, Ram Nation. Advocate for Westchester with your colleagues and friends, but never forget where you came from. I want you all to save the date for Alumni Weekend, which is April 28th through the 30th. And I, I learned today that the College of Health Sciences has a great motto, which I think we can all learn from, and that is be fit, be well, and be restored. And finally, remember, when the work needs to be done, Golden Rams always get up, show up, and stay up until the work gets done. That's why I say to you today, Rams up. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Today we've honored our graduates, and I know that every member of this class has enjoyed the support of some very special people in their lives, as Olivia mentioned in her speech. Now I'd like to offer the graduates a moment to express their appreciation to family and friends who have provided so much help along the way. Will the families of the graduates, mothers, fathers, husbands, wives, children, loved ones, significant others, please rise so that you can receive the thanks that you so richly deserve. Thank you. Please be seated. Five minutes. <laughs> Thus ends our fall commencement. I wish to extend all the graduates and their families heartiest congratulations. Please rise and join in singing the first verse of our alma mater. The words are found on page two of your program. Sophia Babrasheva, class of 2022 Wells School of Music, will lead us. At the conclusion of the alma mater, please remain standing until the platform party has recessed.
Thank you. 